Hi everyone, I'm back and I'm still good and I hope you are too. All right, we're gonna do part two of Benjamin's box. If you need to know what part one was, maybe you can ask mom and dad if they can show that to you because that was last Sunday and now we're gonna move on to some other things, okay? But first let's pray. Lord, we thank you so much for this time. I thank you for this story, Lord. And more importantly, we thank you for your story, what you have done for us, Lord Jesus. And we just ask that you would continue to protect us and keep us safe and healthy. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, good job. All right, here's where we left off. Benjamin was so excited because his family was invited to go and help serve a special supper in Jerusalem. And there's Benjamin right there. And look, it's Jesus and his disciples. Benjamin got to pour the water and bring the napkins. I bet you he swept too, because we all know he was good at that. Well, Benjamin was so excited happy and he would go in and he would pour the water and he got to hear Jesus. Jesus was talking but you know what it was kind of confusing for Benjamin. Jesus was taking the bread and he was saying take this each one of you and tear a piece off. This represents my body that is going to be torn up for you. Hmm, said Benjamin, that's kind of strange. Also, when the wine was being poured, Jesus took his cup and said, drink this, every one of you. This represents my blood that is going to be poured out for you. Hmm, thought Benjamin, that again is different than I've ever heard. And while he was in there helping and making sure all the dishes were out and everything was good, he saw somebody. Guess who he saw? Judas. You're right. There's Judas, he thought. Oh no, does he recognize me? What if he recognizes me? And he was so worried about Judas recognizing him that he didn't even notice that Jesus and the disciples got up and they went through the back door to go out to the garden. Where did they go? said Benjamin. His mother said, they went out to the garden to pray. I want to pray. Yes, you can pray too. But first, I want you to help me clean up this mess. So Benjamin did as fast as he could. And while he was cleaning, he found something. Do you want to know what he found? He found this. It's a goblet. It's one of the wine goblets. But it was broken. It's just going to go in the trash. Hmm. I want to keep it for my treasure box because it will remind me of Jesus, thought Benjamin. So he put it in the pocket of his cloak and then he went out to the garden to see what was happening. When he got to the garden, there was Jesus praying with all his soul and with all his heart and he was really really praying calling out to God and saying Lord if there's any other way that I can save these people let it be but not my will your will be done and Benjamin looked over and the disciples were sleeping nobody was praying with Jesus Benjamin was praying. He decided he was going to lay down by the tree and pray. Guess what happened? Yep, he fell asleep too. But he didn't stay asleep for long. You know what happened? All of a sudden, there was lots of people in the garden and they were shouting and they had torches and swords. And they were saying, there he is, 
Get him! Get him! What's happening, thought Benjamin. Get who? What's going on? And it was Judas. He saw Judas again. And Judas walked right up to Jesus and kissed him on the cheek as he called him teacher. What? And right then, as soon as he called him teacher, the soldiers were there and the priests. And they grabbed Jesus and they arrested him. Wow, said Jesus. Are you seriously going to take me like this? I will gladly come with you. And you know what else happened? Peter was there. And we know Peter. And the soldiers were rough handling Jesus. And Peter took out his sword and he... Whoosh, one of their ears came right off. Oh, wow. But you know what Jesus did? He healed him. He touched him. No more blood. No more screaming. And a new ear. Um, I'm thinking he's God, right? And they were all yelling. The priests were saying, oh, he's a liar. He says he's God. He's not God. He has all the people going. He's going to start a riot. And um, yeah, I think he is God, right? Because he said he was God. And he also did all kinds of miracles. And he fed 5,000 people. And he healed the blind man. And the, the, the little girl who was sick and died, he raised her. And he calmed the storm. And he walked on water. I think he is God. But they were yelling. And they said that he was a liar. And that he deserved big punishment and even death. Benjamin could not believe what was happening and he was really, really afraid. And so he ran home as fast as he could. And when he got home and he shut his door, he had two things to put in his treasure box. One is the goblet. Remember the goblet that he had in his cloak? But he also had something else. He had a stick. A stick from the garden. Stick from the garden of Gethsemane. And he had this in his hand when he was praying. And he was praying for Jesus when Jesus was praying. Yeah, and then he fell asleep. But he still had the stick. And this will always remind him that he prayed with Jesus in the garden. Super duper treasure for sure. So into the treasure box it went. So now there's a lot of stuff in here. There's the hay. There's the money. The donkey fur. The goblet. And the stick. All in his special box. And when he went to bed that night, he really prayed. He prayed about all of it. He looked at all his wonderful treasures and he prayed and he prayed for Jesus. Well, the next morning, Eli came running up to the house and he said, Benjamin, you're not going to believe it. Last night, they arrested Jesus. Benjamin said, I know I was there and I saw the whole thing. No way. Well, come on. You got to see what's going on in Jerusalem today. The soldiers have him. They said they're going to crucify him. <gasps> what? No, said Benjamin. How can that be? Why? Why would they do that? I don't know, said Eli, but it's not good. Benjamin went down to Jerusalem as fast as he could. And sure enough, the same people who were saying, Hosanna, Hosanna, our king, our king, were the same people that were all angry and yelling and saying lies about Jesus. They were saying, who does he think he is? Why does he think he's better than everybody? He shouldn't have talked like that. 
He deserves to be whipped. <gasps> Said Benjamin, whipped? What do they mean, whipped? It's not pretty, my friends. Back then, when they were going to crucify somebody, that meant that they were going to nail them to a cross where they would just hang and bleed to death. It was so, so, so horrible and so, so painful. But a lot of times before they even did that, they would whip. And it was terrible. And Benjamin cried out and he said, no, no, he's a good person. He's kind. And the crowd got angry with him. And they said, you better zip it. Don't you be talking about him. Are you one of his disciples? Is that what's going on? Are you one of the ones? Because if you are, you should be punished with him. Benjamin didn't know what to say. He was so scared. He just ran as fast as he could to get home. He is before he could even get home he turned the corner and there was Jesus it was true the soldiers had whipped him they whipped him and he was bleeding he was tied to a post and there was a crown of thorns on his head and the blood was dripping down and he had stripes all over his body from where the soldiers had whipped him. No, said Benjamin, no, it's not okay. And he looked right at Jesus. And guess what? Jesus looked right at him. Jesus was not angry. He wasn't yelling. He looked right at Benjamin. And do you know what Benjamin felt in his heart? He felt Jesus saying, I love you. I am doing this for you. And right then, Benjamin remembered the bread, the bread that was torn. He said his body, his body would be torn for us. And the wine the wine that was poured. He said that his blood would pour for us. Is this what he meant? No, Jesus, no, it shouldn't be happening. But Benjamin, it was so strange. He felt, he felt like Jesus really loved him and knew him. Benjamin hurried home. He was so, so sad. And when he was walking home, he found something for his treasure box. It was a piece of the soldier's whip. And do you see in this piece what they did? They had rocks and shells and sometimes even glass. And they would put it into the leather. And then when they would whip somebody, it would land on your skin. And then when they pulled it, these pieces of rock and shell and glass would rip your skin open. And it would be deep and bleeding. And that is what they just did to Jesus. Benjamin could not believe it. And he picked up this piece. And he decided he was going to put it in his treasure box. So when he went home, he did. He added it to his treasure box. And then he closed it up and he prayed and he said, God, I don't understand 
what's happening is so wrong and so sad. <sighs> okay, we're going to stop there. But don't worry, we're going to finish the story. All right? I'll see you next week. Love you.